In these crazy times, how about a crazy impossible crust pizza that requires no dough, no yeast, no resting time, and you probably have all the ingredients. I'm Tess, and tonight I will show you an alternative pizza crust recipe that is crispy, good, and fun to make. This is actually an old-time retro recipe that has been around for a while. Since we are all practicing social distancing and spending most of our time at home, this is a great pizza crust recipe that is quick, easy, and you can have pizza ready to eat in less than an hour. The crust is real simple. I have one cup of flour and I'm adding in three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. The recipe calls for one teaspoon, but I don't like that much salt. In goes a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, and you can use black pepper, and one teaspoon of Italian seasonings. The Italian seasonings really add some flavor to the crust. Giving that a good mix, and then I'm adding in two eggs and two-thirds cup of milk. Giving that a good stir, and that's it. The mixture should look like this, like a pancake batter. I have my oven preheating to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. The recipe calls for a 15 by 10 inch, well-greased rimmed pan, and that makes a fairly thin crust. I'm using my 14 inch large cast iron pizza pan. The smaller pan you use, the thicker the crust will be. I'm pouring the batter onto the pan and then gently leveling out to the edges. I know this doesn't look like it will turn into a pizza crust, but trust me, it will. Now I'm placing some pepperoni on the top. The recipe calls for the meat first, then bake, and then the sauce, veggies, and cheese on top. I like to put some pepperoni on the bottom and a little more on the top. You can add any sausage, bacon, or any kind of cooked meat that you like. This goes into a 425 degree oven for 20 minutes and then I will show you the next step. It's been 20 minutes and it's looking and smelling good. You can see the crust is baked and formed a nice base for our pizza. Now you can top the pizza with whatever you like. I'm spooning on some pizza sauce and making a thin layer. We don't like too much sauce. I jazzed up my pizza sauce with a little more garlic powder, oregano, and basil for more flavor. You can simply sprinkle the seasonings that you like over the top. Remember the crust already has some Italian seasonings. You could even use some white sauce. Sprinkling over a little Parmesan cheese. Now the shredded mozzarella cheese, and you can use as much as you like. I have some onions, red bell peppers, and some canned mushrooms. I'm just trying to use what I have in my pantry. Can't forget the jalapenos. And I'm adding on a little more of the pepperonis. Finally, I'm sprinkling on a little more cheese to glue it all together. This is going back into the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes. And here it is, a crazy impossible crust pizza. It took 10 more minutes to cook. Everybody is ready to dig in. You can see the bottom formed a nice brown crust and the outer edges are nice and crispy. I really enjoyed the texture and for a quick easy pizza, this recipe is amazing. When you give this crazy crust pizza a try, leave a comment below how you liked it and what you added to your pizza. Enjoy! If you like this video recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button.
Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!